Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another what's in my bag video for you guys. I know you guys love these videos and I did get a new bag a couple months back um, for work and this is it. This is the infamous TikTok bag, the Marc Jacobs tote bag. I honestly had no intention on getting this and I didn't really think it was that cute but your girl gets influenced pretty easily and I ended up getting it. I just wanted like a nice light beige colored bag for um, the summertime and now that summer is ending I was planning on moving back into my long chomp or a different bag and I thought no better way to go ahead and clean out and move into a different purse than to go ahead and just film a video and show you guys what I've been keeping in my bag for work. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started now. If you guys want to see like a quick little review on how I've been feeling about the bag and all that stuff, I'll save that till the end because I want to get to the good stuff first. I know most of you guys just want to see what's in it. So let's go ahead and get started. So as always, if you guys have any questions about anything in my bag, feel free to leave a comment. I always reply to them pretty quickly. So this is what the bag looks like up close. Um, I did get the beige color, like I said, I love it. Um, it's a beautiful um, neutral color. It has the tote bag, Marc Jacobs, the top handles, and as well as the thick adjustable black strap, which is what I use most of the time. And then the back has the another logo on it. The reason why I love this bag is because it's very structured. It always keeps its shape. So no matter how messy you are with it, Everything is still pretty organized, even though like everything's just jumbled in there. That's why I've been kind of more carefree with this bag because it's just, you know, a nice medium-sized bag to hold everything and nothing will really get lost. It's not like a black hole like the long chomp is. I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling stuff out. So the big thing in here is my planner, of course. I showed you guys my planners in like all of my videos. The pouch that I'm keeping it in right now is from Kira Plans and it goes really well with the bag, don't you think? It's like a nice plaid color. And right now I'm using my VDS Velvet Sand and I'm actually quite upset because um, this is like my third take doing this. And while I was opening this, I just realized it had a watermark on it. And I'm like really disappointed because I knew, because sometimes I keep my water bottle in here and I don't know, I've just been kind of like careless with it because I know that this is a very sensitive uh, planner. So if you guys have any recommendations on how to get rid of this, please let me know because I was so extremely sad when I found this that I had to stop filming and just process it, you know? But yeah, this is my planner. There's a hair on it. And um, I do post a lot of planner content on my vlogs if you guys are interested. But here's just like what the front looks like. And um, I just love it. It's my baby. I keep my favorite pen in the pouch with it. This is the Pilot Juice .38. Along with my planner, I also keep my planner stickers with me. And I know this may seem kind of a little bit excessive, but <laughs> um, I just love this system because it's pretty compact. To, and this is pretty much like majority of my stickers that I have for my planner. And I got this from Daiso. I think you're supposed to keep like, like receipts or something in it, but I went ahead and labeled all the dividers and um, they're all labeled with the different types of stickers that I have, icons and like scripts and stuff. And I just love the system and I just like having like all of my different options with me when I'm planning on the go. So that's why I have that. And then I have my toiletry pouch 19 which has been kept open and not zippered up lately because it's pretty stuffed. But I have my Fenty blotting uh, powder. I have my Advil, of course. My coworkers always ask for Advil, so that's why I have it, and I'm always refilling it. And I have my, oops, my Shiseido uh, sunscreen. Love this stuff. And then I have some Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. I have another one in here as well, because you can never have enough. My Laneige lip mask, a mini size a Sephora lip gloss. I don't even remember the last time I used this. I just keep it in case I need lip gloss, I suppose. And then um, my my current favorite perfume that I've been wearing for work, which is the Escada Cherry in Japan. It's a nice, subtle, fruity, floral scent. I think it's limited edition, unfortunately, but um, I love it for work because it's not too overpowering. Um, Suave deodorant. I like never use this. I only keep it in my purse in case of an emergency if I ever forget to put deodorant on one day. Um, my Shiseido blotting sheets. That's what they look like. And then I have poopery spray, of course. I never go to work without it. And I have a Tide to Go pen. 
Um, I do have some spoolies in here, which I don't even need anymore. I'm probably just going to toss these because I don't have lash extensions anymore. And then um, I do have some trash in here, so I apologize. I think this is just a receipt. Uh, this is a grocery list that I wrote during work, I think. Yeah. Um, I have a receipt. Let's see where I went this day. Looks like I went to Barnes & Noble and I bought two books. Um, I have my Kindle in here. This is my baby. If you guys didn't know, I'm a big, big reader. And if I don't have my Kindle in here, then I have my physical book of whatever I'm reading. This is a Kindle Paper White. And this is the back. It's kind of like the stickers kind of fell over a little bit. So that's why there's that blank spot there. But yeah, and I have my pop socket, of course, because it just makes holding it so much easier. So yeah, um, sometimes when it's really slow at work, I have some downtime to just read. So that's why I keep it in here. And this, this is kind of random, but I bought these from Amazon and they're actually motion sickness wristbands. I get really car sick pretty easily. And I think I bought these like right before a road trip and I wanted to be prepared. So pretty much if you guys didn't know, you have a pressure point on your wrist that you can push on um, when you're feeling nauseous to kind of help with it. So these wristbands kind of just help um, achieve that uh, better. So you just put it on your wrist like this and there's like this little plastic piece. And then when you feel nauseous or you're starting to feel nauseous, you kind of just like press on it um, and hit that pressure point. So um, I used these on my last road trip. It was like not too bad of a road trip. I think it was like two and a half hours, but they worked and I didn't feel sick at all. So um, definitely recommend these if you guys um, get car sick or motion sickness pretty easily. And then I have a pack of disposable masks in there. And that's pretty much that for that big compartment. It's kind of dirty down there as you can tell. Um, but this bag has a bigger zippered pocket on the inside as well as two smaller pockets connected to it. So in this one, I have my keys of course. This is my uh, key pouch. And I have pepper spray and all of my different uh, keys and stuff. This is kind of random. I've been meaning to put this on my uh, desk at work, but pretty much this is from a crystal shop that I always buy from, and she always includes like these crystal freebies. And in this order, she had given me, it looks like a little clear quartz star thing and a little heart. Not sure what crystal this is. It kind of looks like opalite maybe, but I've been wanting to put these on my desk, but I keep forgetting, so I need to remember to do that. Um, this is really random too, but my coworker just brought these to work. They're pasties and she said she didn't need them. So she just gave them to me. And then I have my AirPods in here. This case is from, I think Amazon. And then I have another pen. I have a protein bar. It's kind of squished, but these are my favorite. It's the barbell protein bar and cookies and cream. I just keep this in case I get hungry and don't have any food on me. This is funny. Um, I have like a bad habit of like forgetting my crystal bracelets in my purse because when I wear them to work and I go to the gym right after work, I um, take the I take it off and put it in my purse and I just forget about them. So I have all these crystal bracelets in my purse. They're just chilling in there, I guess. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs card that the bag comes with. It's kind of dirty, so I apologize about that. In the smaller pocket, I just have my YSL card case with all my cards in it and some more cards. And in this other pocket, I just keep a pack of tissues in there. And I think that's pretty much it. So again, I apologize. It looks kind of dirty in there, but that's what the bag looks like with nothing in it. And I've been using it the whole summer. I think I bought it like even before summer started. So a couple of months and it still looks really, really good. It's like the type of bag you can just throw around. And even like the bottom of it doesn't really look that dirty. Um, Cause I set it on the ground all the time. That is pretty much everything that I keep in my bag. Okay, so if you made it this far, then you're probably wanting like a little review on this bag and how I've been loving it. So for the most part, I do love it. I do recommend it if you guys want a new bag for like work or school. Pretty much like the only con and the only thing that I don't like about the bag is I found that the black strap, it kind of doesn't stay in the 
length that you want it to. I always put it on the shortest length because I like I like it to not hang down as low on my body because I am short and throughout the week it will get longer and longer for some reason. Um, I don't know like how that happens but it does and it's kind of annoying because I have to readjust it every time. So I'm 5'1 for reference and this is what the bag looks like on the shortest length for this strap. So it'll hang just right about um, my hip, which I love. I love this length a lot. It can hang down pretty low, as you can see, even lower, lower than this. You can crossbody it like this, pop handle like this, which I do occasionally, occasionally, but not all the time. Okay, so yes, that is everything that I have to say about the bag. So I noticed in my other bag videos, a lot of you guys had questions on if like um, an iPad or a MacBook would fit in um, my purses. So I thought I would just show you guys as an example. So this is the iPad Pro. I think it's like 11 or 12 inches. And as you can see, it fits perfectly in there. My MacBook, which I think is like a 13 inch, um, I don't have it with me right now, but I'm pretty sure it would fit if this fits um, pretty loosely in there. So um, that's just for reference if you guys are wondering about the size. This is the small size, I believe. I think the large one is like really, really big. But yeah, so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! <laughs> Uh-huh